Good morning and welcome to Narrow Boat Lane. Hi, it's been another blisteringly hot week. Um, I know I keep saying that I haven't got anything planned, but we've done a few bits and bobs. So uh, I don't know what it's like for you guys, but I don't seem to be able to sit still for very long. I sit down to relax of a weekend and I'm looking around the boat and subconsciously I'm thinking, that doesn't work, this works, that needs changing, that could look better, etc, etc, etc. I annoy myself. Um, but there's a few bits and bobs that I've been doing this weekend. So let me show you what we've been up to. As we're in the saloon already, um, those of you who've watched my previous vlogs will know that um, all this wall, wall was tiled, the same as the bottom there, which is getting changed. Um, so I took all the tiles off, sanded it back to the tongue and groove and had it bare wood, um, which looked great. But the problem was, let me just take you to show you a bit closer. On this wall here, where it had been tiled, whether or not it had been catching, um, trapping moisture underneath the tile or condensation or whether it had just sucked the moisture out of the tile adhesive when the tiles were put on, you can still see it slightly. There's a change in there's a change in colour between where the tile ended. So it looked quite drastically different before. If you check out my previous vlog, which was narrowboat decor on a budget, um, you'll see after it had been sanded back, it was it was quite a noticeable difference. Um, I'd replaced these, let's call them barge boards. I don't know what the proper name is for them. Gunnel boards, I suppose, something like that. Um, I'd replaced that and that was brand new timber. So they stood out a mile as well. Well, we quite liked it at the time. But I thought that if I got myself a tin of wood stain, I could make it more of a uniformed look. And and that's what we've gone for. So, Max weren't too keen when she first seen that I'd done it. But now she's coming around to my way of thinking and it sort of pulls it all in together. I've also stained the back of the dinette, the piece of board that I cut there to support the cushion. Um... So yeah, I mean it's all it's all sort of tying in together a bit nicely now. That end wall obviously has still got to be replaced. I think I'm going to get some four mil oak face ply for that. Um, although I do like the contrasting colours. The other thing that I want to change is this ceiling board um, because it's not very nice to be honest. It's it's like a like a melamine I think. Um, so that that's going to get changed. I think I might just run some nice fresh pine down there or spruce or something that'll tart that up um as you know with my last vlog uh sorry the narrow boat on the deck wall vlog we also changed all the curtains for these ro these roller blinds and the plan was initially to put another one in front of the kitchen window however with it being material obviously being above the sink and very close to the hob um it's liable to get very grubby very quick so what I managed to do, obviously matching the grey colour of the kitchen, I managed to find this grey plastic Venetian blind. I'm not a big fan of Venetians, but it will offer us that privacy when we're out on the cut. Uh, it's not really a problem here, there's nobody living in the boat next door. Um, yeah, and it's obviously wiped wipe down and cleanable, which is all groovy. Um, the other thing I changed in here, as I say, if you if you go back to Narrowboat on a decor, I had a pine shelf here, um, and on it was far more stuff than we could possibly fit on there, really. So what I've done is I've just got a couple of these pine triangular shelves, floating shelves, um, and that now holds our only source of cooling in this heat, and uh, a radio which doesn't work, which is great. Um, yeah, so oh, and the other thing I done was I sanded down the pine table to get rid of the orange colour that it was because it was more like 
that. So I've, I've, I've sort of sanded it down and battered it, trying to, to, to distress it a little bit. Um, and then I stained it with far too many coats of the same wood stain as I used on the wall. So I think it's gone a bit dark, but I can always sand it back and, and lighten it again a little bit. Um, the other job that we had done, and I'll show you while I start talking about it while I'm in here, because from this angle you can see everything on the boat is to the right or starboard or port if you're at the back um, which meant the boat was listing not much but enough to make it a problem when it comes to cooking doors slamming on their own even the water in the shower tray when we we're having a shower wasn't going towards the plug hole it was coming away from the plug hole so we were having problems draining it so it was either get some more ballast on board and stash it on this side to pull the boat level which I didn't really want to do because I'm not up to the science of ballast I'm sure there's lots of vlogs out there that will deal with it but I'm guessing the ballast under the floor was a-okay because that was placed and the boat was trimmed before anything was brought in so I took that as my base level if you like um, and then with everyone out of the boat I went out the back and had a look at the list. Let me show well, you. Here, draw me out the uh, stern of the boat, and as we're looking at it, it was listing to port. Um, what I done is I got Mags and the dog out the boat and everything, and I stood on the starboard, and it was there that I realised that I needed to transfer around about seventy-five kilos. Here we are back in the engine bay, and the, the way that I managed to sort the list out was on this side down here excuse the bright sunshine on this side down here um, were my bank of three leisure batteries now they weigh an absolute ton so after standing out on the on the back of the boat and gauging that it was about a hundred kilo that i needed to swap from this side of the boat to that side of the boat i thought well the three batteries must weigh close to that so if I take the batteries from that side, move them to this side, I'm effectively doubling the weight that I'm moving because I'm taking it off one side and adding it to the other. So that's what I've done. So I, on checking the wires and the cables and everything, it was just a simple case of moving the batteries to this side, which I've done, and now they live underneath this step with the inverter on this side and my cutoff switches and all that on this side. Um, and that sorted the list out problem brilliantly. It's uh, no longer an issue. Yeah, so that's about it for this week. That's all I've been up to. Um, I don't know what it's like for you guys. I just want to ask, get, ask you a question, throw it out there. Um, what do you guys do when you can't relax? I mean, by which I mean jobs. Because I'm finding it extremely difficult to switch off. What I, what I tend to do, let me explain is I'll do a job on the boat, it could be anything, a bit of decorating, um, moving things around, jigging things around, etc. Um, and I'll think, yeah, that's brilliant, that's, that's, that's ace. And then within a couple of weeks, I'm thinking, mm, maybe I can just change it a little bit, maybe I can move things around, or I'm not too keen on that shade, or that, that blind doesn't completely work. And so my brain is co just constantly rolling over with the next job and the next job and the next job. So. I'm just curious, does that ever go away? Um, hopefully some experienced narrowboaters might, might tell me whether or not it's just a character trait with my brain. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there, but I think that much to my de detriment, uh, my life aboard the boat is gonna be just constantly changing things. Um, I don't know, it winds mags up. Um, but I don't think I'm doing a bad job. Um, I think we're get, I think we're getting there. I think at some point you've just got to stop and start living your life, haven't you? Um, when that'll happen, though, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's it for this week. Um, coming up very soon. I think at the end of at the end of this month, I want to have the boat over into like we've got like a, a covered area here where you can moor your boat, and I'm going to paint the exterior. Um, Still not 100% sure what colours we're going to go for, so that'll be a bit of a surprise. 
um, probably black. Um, yeah, so that's coming up. But inside the boat, we, we're sort of coming to a dead stop now. There's still things I want that that were on the bottom of the list have now edged their way to the top, which is the bedroom decor needs sorting out because at the moment it's grey. I've still got curtains in the bedroom rather than the blinds, and you know it, it's always a bit dark and miserable in there. Um, so I'm going to brighten up the bedroom. Um, it's got carpet on the walls and carpet on the floor, etc. And it's all looking a bit tatty, so that that all needs to be changing up. Um, what I'm going to do in there, I don't know, because that's the access point for the boat at the moment and the wharf that we're in. So it's got to be durable, whatever I do. So I'm thinking maybe wooden floor, something like that. Um, then the bathroom is the job after that. Um, the shower cubicle is falling to bits. So I need to either repair that or replace it. Um, had a bit of a shock with that one. Um, you know the little rollers that sit on the bottom of a sliding door, sliding glass door for a roller uh, for a cubicle, shower cubicle. Just one of those little rollers, thirty five quid, thirty five quid, and I need four of them. So I'm gonna see what solutions I can come up with that. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, we are also planning on going out soon because my son and his new girlfriend are coming down for a visit in. The second week of August, I believe it is. Um, so we're going to go out for a nice little cruise then um, and, and, and see what's around the corner. But for now, that's it. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment and please subscribe.